Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey's Crafts, and today I'm continuing on with my series Black Tarn and the uh, Irish Faction Fighters. Um, today I thought we'd, we'd pick up where we left off last about discussing some of the names of the factions and just kind of some kind of introduction into a few of them. And in doing this, we always must kind of go back to where the earliest accounts were from, which were the, uh, the, the Tipperary area in Ireland, where the, the first recorded uh, faction fight was, was held. Uh, but today, the, the source I'm looking is, I think I mentioned it before, is that in 1924, there was a House of uh, Commons uh, select committee that was to look into the uh, the faction fighting in Ireland. So I thought we just kind of would kind of look at uh, you know that for a moment today because there's some references to the uh, the, the Tipperary kind of fighters and um, you know it was, it was, it was, there's actually quite a lot um, that was going on. This this series is probably going to take forever, but anyway, sure we'll we'll keep taking a stab at it every now and again and uh, we'll kind of go on with it. All right, enough of the waffling. So. Going back to, to Tipperary and the source I was talking about, um, from this source it's kind of learned that the uh, the, the faction, the, the Rascualics and the Cafes, which would be the Coffees, people of the, the family name Coffey, um, also the Dignan, uh, sorry, the Diggins and Dawsons hailed mainly from this area, which was the barony of what's called Arrow West and Owen Beg. Um, the the Bootishies, the Bog Boys and the Tubbers, these three factions came from this area in, in Upper Upper Ormond. And in nowadays, that would be kind of Nina in, in County uh, Tipperary. Um, so it would be in that area. Um, the, the Comiskeys and the Darigs were from uh, Tumvara, which is about, say, five miles away from, from Nina. And look, already we're getting the impression there's a lot of different factions around the, uh, the, the Tipperary area. Um, you know, even from there, um, from from Boris Kane to the uh, to the there's an area from Boris Kane to the River Channel and to Brosna, and in this area, that here's an interesting point: there were factions as well, but these factions had no names. Not every faction, the lion's share, like ninety nine percent of factions had had names, but within this area, there was no faction names or none that were recorded, but. This area was noted in report for a lot of turbulent disposition, as they called it, which was means there was a lot of, of faction fights in the area. So in the uh, the 1820s, when they were looking at this and trying to get their head around what was happening, Tipperary was, was a hotbed of faction fighting, a violent place, uh, you know, all, you know, there's, there's so much going on there. So, like, it begs the question to kind of say, like, oh, well, you know, is there, there any source there that we can find out why the guys were fighting? Because then that was, that was the main question of this committee. They were like, right, we've identified the factions, we're looking at it, why are they fighting? Let's try to rationalize this, see why, what's going on and stuff. And it was kind of hard enough to do, but, it, you know, there's a few sources that, that do mention some things at the time. Um, like, according to the, the, the same source, um, the Murnanes, who lived in an area called Ruscavala, um, they had a long-standing uh, quarrel, which was noted without any rational foundation, they said in the report, with the Coffees. So the Murnan and the Coffees, they didn't like each other. They would belt the head each other with sticks all the time. The committee at the time investigated it. They couldn't find any reason for that that quarrel of why these guys were doing it. So that that refer my best guess there is that that's something that's going back quite a long way. Um, if they they can't really find it from from inquiries, um, the dig uh the, sorry the Diggins who took their name from a hill near their homestead. So the Diggins, their faction name came from an area. Okay, um, so the Diggins who took their name from the hill, um. They consisted of the Kennedys, the Rhines, and the Gleasons. So a number of families would come under the same area there. So the, the again, we're all talking about Tipperary. So just bear bear that in mind as well. So the Kennedys, Ryans, Ryan is a huge Tipperary name. Like everyone in, in Tipperary is either called Ryan or Power these days. So the Rhines and the Gleasons um, of Kilmore, Ballinclock, and um, Benton. So the Dawsons were made up of the Breens, the Seymours, all from Doro. So when a faction had a name, they took it from the kind of clothes they usually wore or the area they're from, but a lot of different families would come into the one one faction. It wasn't particularly just made up of one faction um, either. And uh, 
the they were they were also assisted by the mobs of Nina. It was reported in the the report as well. So there wasn't like a lot like you'd have the three families, you'd have other mobs coming in, some guys who would just like to join different fights for for different reasons. Um, but in this one, they noted in the report that look, this is an old feud with the Diggins, and this they they found out had its origin in a quarrel about the burial place of a woman named Seymour and who had been married to a Gleason. Now the Seymours, they wanted their own parish church to be her last resting place, while the Gleasons didn't. So there was this woman, two different families, one wanted to be buried here, one wanted to be buried there, and boom, that was the spark that led the feud there for, for that particular faction. So it's interesting that they, they managed to grasp some kind of um, reports at the time of some of the reasons like most of them were like uh, my my best guess is that for the ones they couldn't find out they're the ones that are going back even further further in time from there uh let's see if i can I think of another one here um okay so there was another uh faction as well which were the uh let's see there was a, a faction called the tubbers who were made up of the kennedys the hogan's from the parish of kilmore so you know, like there's there's different Kennedys from different areas that would be from different factions. So just because your name's Kennedy doesn't mean you're with one faction. It just depends more on the the, the area more so than than uh, than. Sorry, there. Someone just just called me on my phone in the middle of the video. So this is just the uh, the con continuation there of uh, where I was just talking about the, uh, the the Kennedys and the Hogans who are from the parishes of Kilmore, uh, Yall, and Ballyma or Bally William. And their quarrel was reported to have resulted in uh, a fight over simply a game of marbles uh, between two small boys. And, uh, you know, something as, as simple as trivial as that is that two guys playing a game of marbles didn't get on. And, you know, parents got involved and everyone got involved. And it just that's that's the birth there of the, uh, the, the, the faction. And as it goes... Um, the, the fight broke out. So these are two small boys who were baiting the head of each other at the time. And uh, an O'Brien and uh, a Hogan. And this was reported in 1794. As the story goes in the report is one boy knocked the other down and immediately the relatives of both interfered and fought each other. Um, and they'd been fighting ever since at fairs, markets and other public gatherings at the same time. And this is actually written in the House of Commons Inquiry in 1824. So, you know, you can see there that, that you know, things were, were, were very unusual at the time. Like, you know, two sets of parents getting involved and then it's just all kind of like kicking off as well. And, uh, you know, the, the, the it, it shows you what was kind of valued at the time that, you know, family pride uh, people were very defensive obviously of their area of their families if if you know everyone wanted a certain thing even the burial story about you know should be buried here should be buried there and i showed you like you know how people were just boiling over the time like there's so much going on in ireland there's a lot of anger there's a lot of resentment and uh you know it was it was it was just all bubbling up and it was just the faction fighting was a symptom of what was happening in society at the time and you, even in modern times there's parallels where protests and violence and you know when people are under pressure when just like they've been locked down you know they're not happy with the authorities there's injustices going on and um, there's people with different opinions from this side and that side and it's all the, this this perfect storm for creating this type of uh, you know uh, symptom like symptom or rea sorry reaction to all of these symptoms and uh, again I like I find it kind of interesting because like what's happening they say you can learn from history and in the past and then you know what's going on in, in modern times around the world you can kind of see it um, you know like in, in, in different areas like you know there's a uh, it's even what's going on in the states and around the world and different things and protests and different sides and different arguments and it's just people just eventually get enough and just need to, to lash out and uh you know there must be some kind of psychology to to that as well but anyway look um there's the kind of just uh, the the story for today and um again just kind of recounting some of the actual recorded reasons for the faction fight in in that report i thought is a, is a pretty good source uh, to mention so that's the house of commons inquiry from uh, 1984 um and that that's a lot of good valuable information about the early faction fights uh, especially around tipperary okay thank you for watching